Hello everyone, my name is Luminitsa and today we're going to talk on one of my favorite topics, presentation skills, but also one of your favorite topics based on the views on the statistics, Pacha Kucha. Now if you've never ever heard about Pacha Kucha, go and check my very first video on this topic over here where I tell you more what this actually is, the history behind the meaning of the name and so on. Also, if you need a practical example to see what actually Pachacucha is, I also did that on my channel already. You can check it out here. There is a real Pachacucha presentation made by me on the topic of fear of public speaking. However, the most useful video on this topic so far is the one where I show you and actually guide you through my process how I create Pachacucha presentations from the very first tab till the end product. And I think that this video is actually extremely useful and informative for every single person that wants or needs to create a Pachacucha presentation, but not only Pachacucha presentation, that process or that way of creating presentations will help you also with Takahase and many others. Now, when the semester started again, and I'm actually still a student, <laughs> um, I realized that I cannot afford to spend so much time on creating a presentation. If it's Pachacucha or not, doesn't matter. I started to have this need of a little bit of a process optimization. And again, I would definitely go for the whole process if you need to create an important big presentation uh, for an event or a conference. But if you have to create really quickly a presentation that you need, it needs to be done tomorrow or today, or you don't have time to spend on every single presentation, this video will help you create it, actually. <laughs> After many tries and errors, I finally found this perfect equation how to make a really good Pachacucha presentation under 30 minutes. And you heard it right. From the very first step till the end product, you can do this all just in half an hour. For this technique to properly work, we have to assume that the topic is already given to you by your professor, by the organizer of the event, by your lecturer, and so on. But if the topic is not given and you have to pick one and there's absolutely no limitation, you can pick any other, any, any kind of topics, I highly recommend you to make a Pachacucha presentation about you and yourself, meaning your morning routine, your life, um, some story about you, just a presentation of yourself, because you know yourself the best and you don't have to spend time on research. That's why if you really need to prepare a Pachacucha really quickly, you either have to have already a topic given or if it's not the case, then make a presentation about yourself. For the purpose of this video, I will help you create a Pachacucha about your day or your routine. Now, if you remember my full original process, we were first dividing the slides, thinking of a structure, writing the text, and so on, and then we were searching for pictures in the end. Now, in this new or quicker process, we will start by searching for pictures where this will be our step number two. And I'll explain you in a minute why. Now, about the pictures, you can either go on Google and just search for pictures there, but because this video will be online and I don't want to go on any copyright situation, I always, always take stock pictures. Again, you can go for paid websites or paid stock pictures, because I'm a student, I always go for free stock pictures. There are many websites on the internet with that. You can pick and choose them. But my personal three favorite websites, therefore, are Pixabay, Pexels, and Unsplash. So why do we start with the end? Because these pictures are actually our slides. And we don't have time to search and structure. We will go straight to creating our slides first. And also, this process will help us to brainstorm how our storyline will go, and so on. That's why let's just jump into searching for pictures. 
For this video, I decided to go with pexels.com. There is no specific reason why I did that, so you can go with any other website. And um, because I said that this picture with your presentation will be about my day, I don't know what about you, but my day starts in the morning. So we are going to search for morning pictures. Let's go for morning. And here we can find many, many morning pictures. Everything from drinking a coffee outside, um, bedroom and work, some flowers, anything that represents more or less your morning. And I will go first with this picture because I usually wake up around 7, 6, 6.30 and this one represents pretty accurately how my day starts. Now I'll need a new folder and let's call it Peche Kucha about my day, whatever. And we are going to save this picture and I always write one. This is slide one, then it's easier for me to remember why and which order should be. Now I will still go with these pictures of morning because I drink coffee in the morning and let's see, let's take for example this picture because I usually drink coffee in the morning and then I set up my goals uh, or I do journaling. So we'll go with this picture as well. This will be picture number two. Okay, so morning is done. My university, if I cl have classes, starts at 9 a.m. So it's pretty early in the morning and this is kind of logic that I wake up in the morning, then I have my coffee. Um, I also sometimes actually meditate or do yoga. So maybe we can include that as well. Let's write yoga. Okay. There are many pictures here as well. I do this on my own and usually it's not that fancy. So let's search for a not super fancy picture of meditating or doing yoga in the morning. Okay, okay, sunset, sunrise. Okay, let's go for this one. Because this is the child pose, I know that. Um, and this is picture number three. And as I said, okay, we had we had waking up, we had our coffee, we had my yoga or meditation. There are already three pictures and three slides. So we are more or less over with our introduction. Now the main part of my day starts, and this is university. Okay, we are at slide number 20 and we're actually almost done. Now, why we did it all um, and why I said actually that it's step number two, because what I did and what you should do as well in this process of searching for pictures, you have to record yourself. Or if you don't want to record yourself, you have to take actively a lot of notes. Why? Because you, as you could see, uh, when I was searching for pictures, I was thinking, okay, what is my routine? Um, I will go for this picture because I do that. And this whole text that I was saying out loud now, or that you can say out loud or in your mind, this is actually the text that you are going to use in your presentation. This is the base. That's why you should either record yourself like I did, or you should take actively notes on why you chose a specific picture. And don't overthink it. As I showed you, it's pretty quickly. You just type in, write, pass, it's fine. And so on. The next step is that you have to either listen to your recordings again or go through your notes. As I said, this is the raw material for your text. The next step would be to really filter out and decide what text goes for every single picture. You can either go for cards. If you remember cards uh, from my previous video, give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, or you can take a piece of paper and really just say 
number one, and then the tax that goes for that. The last step is pretty easy. Um, you should, as I said in my original full version um, process, you have to adjust your text to the 20 seconds. So you really have to time, like, or take a timer and take some um, measurements of your time how much time you need to speak on one slide and then the other. And if you speak not or less than 20 seconds, you have to add up some words. I don't add filler words, but like some more words, if you speak too long, then you should cut and maybe add it to the next slide or not mention it at all. In the end, you go for our beloved PowerPoint, new presentation, and you know the process, we create 20 slides, we add on every single slide uh, the picture that we went with. That's why I said it's pretty, e pretty easy to uh, number them because then it's there and you just add them on. Oops, this is, this should be slide number one. Slide number two, insert picture from this device. I hope that you know how to add pictures to PowerPoint. If you don't, let me know and I'll help you with that. And this is what you do for all 20 slides. And you're actually done with your presentation well, you're done with your pachacucha. As I said, the longest part of this is the first one where you should go for search pictures. But if you really do this intuitively, and if you do this on a subject that doesn't necessarily need a lot of research, then you will really go and search for pictures, something that looks good for you. Don't overthink the pictures in this situation. This should be something that reflects your main idea. So I said, in the morning I drink coffee, I take a picture of the coffee. Or I go, I have class at the university, I just take some picture that more or less represents university. Don't overthink it. And really take notes or record yourself because your thought process will help you write your text. And that's basically all. This is the quickest way to create a Pachacucho presentation, a good Pachacucho presentation. So um, next time when you don't have time, but you have to do a Pachacucho presentation, but actually any kind of presentation, you can take this technique and use it. I really, really hope that this video was helpful for each and every one of you that have to create presentations or Pachukuchu presentations, but you don't have enough time to really go through this whole long process. If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below if you learned something new. Click on the bell button to always get notified when new videos of this kind come up. Click here and here to learn more about presentation and communication here to join my growing community. Remember that communication builds connections and miscommunication builds an S. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!